Good, uh, hello again. This is Alan and Cindy Robertson coming at you from Bob White Vines Vineyard uh, here in lovely Kansas out here on a November November sunny day. Uh, we've uh, uh, going to show you some things that we've uh, put together here, a piece of equipment that we have developed to help us push in T-posts. And we use our uh, tractor to push in T-posts and wooden posts. And uh, we've put together a... Uh, a uh, piece of equipment to modify that just slightly and uh, make this uh, uh, a little safer and a little easier. We've stolen a few ideas from some uh, other folks, uh, farmers and ranchers that are online here on YouTube. And uh, hopefully uh, what we're going to show you today, you'll be able to use in your operation as well. So I've, I've flipped the camera around here and, and uh, show you our loader. And typically when you, when you push in a T-post and you're using a loader, the problem with the loader is that it's going to run. It's going to run at an angle in a, in a partial circle because it's it's working on a fulcrum. And when you're pushing in a T post with the loader, what you end up with is actually pushing that T post in at an angle as well. Cindy can point up there to the loader. Uh, we typically, when we're pushing in a T post, we're going to center that loader right over that T post. And we're going to push it in. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate that, and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about with the uh, with the fulcrum effect and how it how it can actually put a bend and actually uh, put that T post in crooked. So this is what we've constructed to, to counteract the fact that the loader is going to run at an angle because it's a true fulcrum is our loader frame here is really nice. It's got a receiver bar on it. So I just got a standard standard uh, receiver hitch uh, for class two. And uh, I've got the top uh, of one of my top links that I've just used. And I've created a little bracket here weld it up and I'll, I'll give you some close-ups of this a little later but this bracket fits onto a nice pin on the top of the the uh, uh, top link uh, pin here and then I've just welded up a piece of oil field pipe but the the purpose of this is as that loader goes up and down on its standard arc the fulcrum this stays straight up and down so anything that you're pushing in, a T-post, or we've got a couple of other uh, applications where we actually have to push a rod in to bury an end post anchor, you're going to stay straight up and down 90 degrees to the ground, even as this loader goes up and comes down. The, the point of all of this is a couple of things. Number one, it's a lot safer for pushing a post in because there's no tension that goes on the post. Um, the individual can, can center the post in this pipe and can really kind of step back just slightly. And I'll shoot some video from the cab to show you that. And the other thing is as you have finished putting, uh, pushing the post in, there's not tension in the standpoint that you've come down at an arc. And so you've bent that post. That post goes in straight into the ground. It stays straight up and down regardless of how this loader frame is turned. So we're going to shoot a little video, uh, bit of video and push in a couple of posts and you'll see that perspective from inside the cab of the tractor. So we're in the cab of the tractor now and I'm going to show you the process here of pushing this post in. So Cindy's got it lined up and we're just going to apply pressure. We don't have to worry about how the loader is situated or whatever angle it's running at. You notice she's able to step back away from the, she's just giving me hand signals. We got that in and away we go. Just that easy. Show you here as I pull up on another post. Let me bring this down. And 
ready and away we go. Perfect. She says perfect. I'm going to shoot a little close up video here again just to show you what we've built, what we've constructed, um, and uh, my welding may not be top notch, but uh, by golly it works for us. And again, the purpose here is to allow this to swing freely. Uh, so that it always stays at a 90 degree angle or no matter whatever you're pushing in. You can certainly change this out. We can put a bolt here. Um, don't have to do anything this elaborate. Uh, could have just welded a piece of steel rod right here. But uh, again, we weren't sure how well this was gonna work. We weren't sure if uh, there was gonna be enough force that we might bend something, uh, tear something up. So we wanted to make it to where it was uh, um, at least interchangeable on some of these parts. So, anyway, that's it from Bob White Vines. We hope that uh, this uh, spurs some kind of idea for you to use in your farm or ranch or whatever operation. Uh, and if you've got a better idea, you can certainly put comments on this video. And we welcome that. And we'd like for you to subscribe to our channel. Have a great day. Cindy, say goodbye to the folks at home. Bye. All right. God bless.